Hey there pilots, this is Pete with BananaHobby.com. Welcome to your flight review of the Freewing Ultimate Sport Biplane. Let's go ahead and talk a bit about the uh, Ultimate Biplane. The Ultimate Biplane has been around for a really long time. When I was younger, I used to fly one of these that was a kit built. It was all built up from balsa wood pieces. And I think, I believe the company that made it was Carl Goldberg. And the Ultimate Biplane has been a staple of our RC industry for a really long time. And uh, it's just a real pleasure to be able to have something here at Banana Hobby in such a small size in an Ultimate Biplane. The performance of the Ultimate Biplane is for your basic sport aerobat and into your 3D types of airplane flying here. And uh, this wingspan of this little free wing Ultimate Biplane comes in at 29.5 inches at 750 millimeters. The motor is a brushless outrunner at 1400 kV and it's a 40 amp brushless ESC in this beautiful little biplane. This is what I'm talking about. The size of this biplane will fit into your back seat, fit into your trunk, and it's just a great little park flying ball, ballpark flying 3D style airplane here. The propeller here is a 7.6, it's a 7x6, and uh, I believe you could use a 7, 7x6 APCE, would probably give it a little bit better performance. Here's the kicker here. The battery compartment is configured for the stock setup, they want you to fly on a 14.8 volt, so it's a 4S pack at 1600 milliamp. And I found that I can keep this airplane actually lighter, get really good performance out of a 65C 1800 millimeter, sorry, 1800 milliamp three cell pack. And you could also use a, a three cell up to a 2200 and you can move it around in that battery compartment and configure it for your CG liking. Uh, for 3D flying, you would want to use a 4-cell pack if you want to do some hovering and torque rolling. But right now, I am actually just using the 3-cell 1800 packs because I actually don't have any 4-cell uh, 1600 packs to give it more power. But this pack flies it good. It has a little bit of issue hovering-wise, but it will still pull out vertical. So for today's review, we're just going to stick to the Genesis Power Pete Signature Series, the 1800 milliamp 65Cs. So again, this is the Ultimate Biplane. I think this is a perfect little ballpark 3D airplane here. I'm flying it on a basic four channel, so you can get it as a basic four channel if you choose to get it as ready to fly format. And I'm just using my trusty old first generation DX7 here. So let's go ahead and just have some fun with the Ultimate Biplane. I'll talk through the flight. I'll probably do some rolling harriers, uh, do some uh, inverted high alpha maneuvers and things like that, some high alpha knife edge passes. Uh, flybys and things like that. This is just a fun little biplane. Let's see you and take it to the runway. There's a snap and a half on takeoff. Come back around and do some level flying for you. You can see that snap roll there stopped on a dime. And do a single snap to knife edge to point roll and we're gonna roll out of that. A little bit of wind here today. Nice roll there. We're gonna go vertical upline. Do a stall turn here. Again, this is the called battery for it is actually a four cell, and we're flying it on a three cell. So it really shows you the uh, the ability to fly on different size batteries here. How's that for a little slower knife edge fly pass there, fly by? All right, we're just gonna do some fun flying here. Do a couple of loops with the snap on top here. Snap and a half, inverted. So we are now inverted. We are going to do some, do a high, higher alpha inverted flyby here. This thing will fly inverted like this all day long. 
All I'm doing here is I'm guiding the ailerons and then steering with my rudder here. Boy, we have one crowded field here today. I'm gonna go ahead and try to do some uh, rolling harriers here. going to do a nice clean knife edge flyby here. Oh, that's nice and low there over the runway. Okay, we're going to go ahead and slow her down here. Do some Harrier flying. About a Harrier touch and go. Tail wheel first, down on the ground, and then take off. A little bit of a ratchet roll there. Snap and a half, shout, snap to right side up. slow roll there. High out, high angle knife edge there. Look at that. What a great performing little ultimate biplane here. Something you can just uh, carefree and have fun with. I'm going to go ahead and Slow down my ailerons here. I'm going to go ahead and do some nice big round rolling circles here. Shave the tops of those trees. How's that? What a nice flying little Ultima biplane here. We're going to bring her inverted. Do some inverted high alpha again in the wind. Okay, now we're just going to go ahead and set her up for a landing here. How about a snap and a half to inverted before landing? There we go. Gonna push up line, do a hammerhead. Oh, well, actually, it didn't do that. And we're going to go ahead and land here. Landing with the tail wheel first. Hey friends, so that's your flight review of the Park Flyer Size Free Wing Ultimate Sport Biplane. Uh, again, this was rated for four cell batteries and I flew it on a three cell pack and you can see that for sport flying, sport aerobatics, it has plenty of power. So it's kind of your choice if you want to fly it on a three cell or a four cell. Uh, today was three cell 1800s and it flew great. Little bumpy wind here, but we did some really nice uh, fly arounds and uh, some knife edge passes and things like that and it was just a great flying fun day for this little biplane this is by free wing come check it out at bananahobby.com love to have you all follow us on twitter like us on facebook and subscribe here as well if you have any questions for me go ahead and post them in the comment box below and 
We will see you on a different day with a different flight review. Pete and the ultimate sport biplane by Freewing Banana Hobby checking out. See you later.